Second, do you really think one visit around London is enough for you to learn and absorb all those roads and points? Because if it is possible for you, then you are an amazing and exceptional person because I guarantee you are going to want to make more than one or two visits to most of these places to bring them to your workable memory. So highlighting the fact that you may need to return to areas as a negative, which is what they're going to do, insinuates that you will be able to learn all this in one visit, which is absurd. Another argument is that you will learn that area. And quite simply, this is another misdirection. Let's look at a few example maps. If you drove around this map of Squirry Street, for example, pretty much everything in this map is never used or rarely used. And everything that is used or is important will be covered in one of the Blue Book runs you're about to do. I've highlighted the roads learned in the Blue Book in red, and the roads highlighted in blue are the extra roads you may learn afterwards. The rest is of no use to you and is an additional information you will try to take on that is going to additionally cloud your brain to the already huge bombardment of information you are trying to absorb. Let's take another map of Lower Richmond Road. When a run starts in a row rather than a point, it was decided that the quarter mile you would search will be based around the central point of that road. So you don't need to search a quarter mile radius either side of the road like in a long sausage shape, but rather just a quarter mile radius of its center point. And once again, this example, you will not need to know any of the surrounding roads and all the main things in this map are learnt from Blue Book Runs alone. Nearly every single small road you see in this map has no purpose. So why are you looking around to cloud your head with images of streets that serve no purpose? This will apply to a large amount of the maps you do. So by searching each and every one of these quarter mile radiuses to become familiar with the area, you are basically learning or attempting to learn an abundance of useless and costly information that has no reward. And you may claim you now know that area better, but you must ask yourself for what reason? Are you learning something that has no purpose in regard to the knowledge? When you already have a huge outstanding chunk of information to learn that is highly important.